Good day, everyone. We are working out number four of May 2021, paper two, CSEC Mathematics. Number four, part A, we have a diagram here, the two lines L1 and L2. The equation of the line L1 is x plus 2y is equal to 10. The line L2 passes through the point 0, negative 5, and is perpendicular to L1. Perpendicular means that they meet at 90 degrees. Express the equation of the line L1 in the form y equal mx plus c. So we have L1 as y, sorry, L1 as x plus 2y equal 10. This is the equation of the line L1. So let's make y the subject of the formula by subtracting x from both sides of the equation and then dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So we have 10 minus x divided by 2. This could be expressed as right, 10 over 2 minus x over 2. All right, so therefore y, you go to 2 into 10 is 5 minus 1 half x. Okay, we can write this as y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 5 as we rearrange them. This is, our, this is our answer. Y is equal to negative a half X plus five. Steady the gradient of the line L1. Steady the gradient of the line L1. So to get the gradient, we look at the coefficient of X, which is negative and one half. So therefore, the gradient M, the gradient M is equal to negative one half, okay? So we read this straight off of the equation of the line. Next question, hence determine the equation of the line L2. So we are told that L2 and L1 are perpendicular. That means they meet at 90 degrees. And also the product of the gradients, M1 meaning gradient of L1 times M2 must be equal to negative one, since they are perpendicular. Therefore, if the gradient of L1 is negative a half, okay, we have negative a half times M2, which is the gradient of L2 being equal to negative one. So we divide both sides by negative a half. All right, and then we simplify. Negative one times negative two. All right, a negative times a negative is a positive number. All right, therefore, the gradient, the, the gradient of L2 is 2. And we have to determine now the y-intercept. So we are told that it inter intercepts the y-axis at 0, negative 5. So therefore, the y-intercept would be negative 5. So the y-intercept C will be negative five, all right, for the line L2. Okay, so we have the gradient and the y-intercept. So equation of line L2, all right, is y equal negative Sorry. Okay, um, the gradient is two, so y equal mx plus c, c is negative. So this is the gradient. We just substitute the value for m and we substitute the value for c, which is negative five. So we have y is equal to two x minus five. Okay. Moving on, this is a functions question. So we are given two functions, f of x and g of x. We are asked to find the value of f of nine. So we are using the f of x function and we are substituting for this value of x. So one third multiplied by nine plus four. And we work this out, three into nine is three, three plus four is seven. That's the answer. 
calculate the value of f of g of negative three. So we first use the g function to work out g of negative three. So we will use three x, which is three times negative three divided by x plus one, which is negative three plus one. So x is negative three and we have to substitute that value for x. Three times negative three is negative nine divided by negative three plus one, which is negative two. So we get nine over two because a negative number divided by a negative number gives a positive number. All right, we can also write this as a mixed number, two into eight, four, remainder one, so four and one half. Okay, this is g of negative three, but we are asked to find f of g of negative three. So therefore we have to find f of this nine over two. Since g of negative three was worked out to be nine over two, right? So we go back to our f function, one third x plus four, and we are going to substitute into that function now. So x is nine over two plus four. So one third multiplied by nine over two, we can cancel three into three, one, three into nine, three. So we get one times three is three over one times two is two plus four. So this two, three over two is one and one half as a mixed number, All right? Two into two, one remainder one. All right, so one and one half plus four is five and one half. This is the answer. So our question, determine the value of x for which g of x is equal to five over two. So we go back to the g function, g of x, and we have three x over x plus one. So g of x is five over two. Using the g function, we have g of x being five over two. So we substitute that value for g of x on the left-hand side of the equation. And now we want to solve this equation. So we multiply both sides by x plus one. All right. And then five over two times x, we expand these brackets. Five over two multiplied by one is five over two. Okay, we try to get the, the values of x on one side of the equation. So let's subtract five over two x from both sides. So we now have five over two is equal to three x minus five over two x. Okay, so we have five over two is equal to three x, which is, this would be three x minus two into four, two and a half x. So three X minus two and a half X is just one half X. And now we divide both sides by one half. So we get X equals five over two divided by one half, which is five over two multiplied by two over one. Okay, the two is cancel, two into two, one, two into two, one. Five times one is five divided by one, it's five, so we get X equal five. Okay, and that is the answer for number four. Thanks for watching. Do have a wonderful day.